And now I'm going to clean the sensor connections and attach a catheter. The latest technology developed for bronchoscopies is introduced in St. Louis. While a bronchoscopy is nothing new. Taking a camera into the airways and examining the lung. The latest robotic technology is taking that to a new level. Attach the vision probe. It is the newest modality and platform of bronchoscopy, which is robotic bronchoscopy. And yes, we're, we're the first in the area, definitely here in St. Louis, to have it. So now this team of interventional pulmonologists at Seitman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine has this greater ability to get tissue biopsies to test for cancer. Advance the bronchoscope through the endotracheal tube into the patient's airway. It is a device that has been developed to improve the ability of pulmonologists and surgeons to diagnose uh, lung nodules. Those are spots that people have uh, been identified with on an x-ray or a CAT scan. Dr. Alexander Chen is an interventional pulmonologist at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis and Barnes Jewish Hospital. Chen and his team helped develop this technology. He says it was several years in the making. Our group has been involved with the idea and the development and some of the research that's been developed uh, bringing this technology to the public. Synchronize the patient's live anatomy with the preloaded CT scan. So the robotic bronchoscope uses shape sensing technology which continuously learns where it is in space. The instrument is designed to target previously hard to reach areas of the lung, as in this demonstration. Will help me navigate out to that nodule that was seen on the CT scan. Get to harder to reach locations, smaller abnormalities in the lung, or be able to do more in the airway with what we have. The robotic bronchoscopy has a special scope, giving doctors new ways to bend and create new angles for finding lung nodules. You're using a joystick slash wheel, right? Like almost like a video game device to sort of maneuver this, but it's very smooth. I think, you know, robotic platform has really come a long way. So how much feedback am I getting as I use it so I get a sense of what's happening distally? Right? The technology allows for accessibility to those spots on the lungs with precision. So right now I am driving uh, the bronchoscope into each lobe of the lung. One of the things that we're most excited about is it gives us another option, another tool to help us diagnose early stage lung cancers. The majority of patients who come to us with, uh, with lung cancer diagnosis, do so at a later stage where the prognosis isn't quite as good and the treatment options are limited. If we're able to catch more of these lung nodules in an early stage and make a diagnosis, we can potentially offer them some type of curative therapy where they have the best chance at long, healthy lives. As I approach the nodule, it will tell me how far I am away within millimeters. I have now reach the nodule of concern and at this point we would move to our biopsy procedure. The robotic bronchoscopy is also assisting surgeons. You can actually leave a marker in place that allows the surgeon to locate that during surgery. In some instances those procedures can be combined into one setting. At Seitman Cancer Center, the doctors say they are excited about how the technology can help create opportunities for patients. This is just one part of that patient's journey. How can we screen you? How can we get you diagnosis? And then once you get a diagnosis, where do you need to go? Well, do you need to see an oncologist or radiation oncologist? Do you need to go to surgery? And we have the ability in that we're all integrated. And so we have all those resources to really make that time frame really short for our patients.